Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a cold and kind of windy night. I am out in a parking lot doing laps because it's dark and Derek and I are trying to find places where I feel comfortable to run after dark and we can run together and separate. So oh, it's cold and it's time to run. Five laps of this parking lot down and it's going okay. My calf is like really sore, <sighs> but alas, we are doing the dang thing. And um, yeah, nothing really to report. Just legs are kind of tired, calf's kind of sore, foot kind of hurts, and uh, that's all <sighs> the aftermath of a Adobe simulation weekend. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to it and uh, I will check in a little bit halfway through this run and my calf is not warming up. The rest of my body is warming up pretty nicely. But my calf is just still angry. It's my right calf, which is my right hip is one that has been bothering me all season, all year. So it makes sense that it's my right calf. I have PT tomorrow. So I'll just have him take a look at it, maybe do some dry needling or something, but I'm getting it done. It's not like it's injured. It's just like really, really tight and sore. So keep going. Did anybody know that Tiesto Tears for Fears did um, a remix of Rule the World? Um, it's on this playlist I'm listening to. Almost done. I've got like one mile left. So it's like four laps of where I am. And feeling okay. I think I'm gonna switch it up on this last uh, this last mile and turn around and go the opposite way because the way I'm going has a like long steady incline when the other way has like kind of a like a quicker steeper incline. So that's what I'm gonna do in just a second when I stop recording. I'm gonna turn around and head back down. I am all done. Four miles in the books. Derek's done too. He had 40 minutes, so he finished a little bit before me and got in the car to warm it up because it's cold now that I've stopped. But it was a good run. My hip is a little wonky, but like I said, I'm gonna go see my PT tomorrow and hopefully he can uh, help me work it out a little bit. I think it's just tight and like sore from this weekend, but yeah, four miles done for Monday and feeling pretty good. I'm actually feeling pretty strong. It wasn't as fast as I thought it was, but like I'm feeling pretty strong. I did a 60-30 interval, so 60 second run, 30 second walk, and um, it felt really good. So yeah, I think tomorrow I have like three minute run, 45 second walk or something like that. So we'll see how that goes. But until then, I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go get cleaned up and get some dinner because it is time for dinner. It's like midnight out here, but look at that moon. It doesn't really come out on camera, but it is bright and big and beautiful. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello and welcome to another parking lot. It's actually the same parking lot. I did not film my run yesterday. I got home from work. I was stressed, the treadmill decided to start acting up and I just uh, fixed it, ran on the treadmill angrily and then uh, forgot to film. So here we are, it is th Thursday. It is Thursday and i um, here for the last run of the week until my long run on Saturday, obviously. But Derek's with me and we're actually gonna go run around some neighborhoods. We just parked in the parking lot from the other day and we're gonna, run together because we have very similar distances steady tonight. So let's go run. All right, guys, one mile in and my calves are freaking wrecked. My legs feel like lead, but we're getting it done. We're doing a 60, 60, 30 over here. And whew, it's a little bit of a hilly neighborhood out here but I'm hoping that my legs will warm up just a little bit. Yeah. 
the struggle is real. Just hit two miles and I am hurting. And Derek is flying because of course he is. That man never gets sore or tired. Um, or he just knows how to push through it better. But yes, this is my water bottle on my head because he is really far ahead. And usually I have him hold it when I film, but he's pretty far ahead. So <sighs> struggling over here, send help. There aren't many decorated houses, but here's one. I failed to show you my favorite one. But maybe on another run, we'll come back here and I'll show you. Here's a tree for you. That is a huge tree. I don't know how they decorated it, but it's amazing. We're still going. There she is. Look at it. Wow. Five miles down and I am done for the weekday miles. I just have to run, I think it's 10 on Saturday. So yeah. Um, had a nice little cry, had a, um, then I turned off my beeper and just ran by feel. So hold on a second, I have to unlock the door for Derek. Cause I have the keys. We ran by feel for the last like two miles, I think. And um, pretty much the same pace as we were running um, when we were doing the 60 30s. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's um, what my body wanted to do today. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this uh, today and I will see you guys on Saturday. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm out by myself for a long run. I have 10 miles and um, yeah, I'm feeling the work I put in this week in my legs, but I'm out here to get it done. And Derek is, I mean, Derek's around here somewhere. I'm not like completely by myself, but he had 12 miles at a faster pace than me. So I'm just gonna get 10 miles under my legs. It's not gonna be pretty, but it's like super foggy. Like, look at how foggy it is. Um, so it's a little bit like, you know, scary movie vibes over here, but getting it done. And I think that was a run. So I gotta go, bye. One mile in and my body does not feel like it is warming up, which is a problem because I have nine miles to go. And uh, just my legs are kind of tired and just still not catching my breath from having the vid. So we're getting it done, but like I said earlier, it's not gonna be pretty. So, oh well, a non-pretty run is still a run. It's still better than not running at all. Just have to keep telling myself that. Two miles in, and it is slow, 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 but better slow than not at all. And I'm just keep telling myself this and telling you guys this because it's keeping me accountable. So slow is better than nothing. 10 miles is 10 miles at this point. And I'm all by myself without my friends. Melissa and Kimmy are in Disney World for the holiday parties and they left me here. I miss you guys. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun because I need you to have fun for me. Three miles in and having a little fuel break with some sports beans and I hit the like crushed gravel sort of dirt path and um, feeling a little bit better. I did front load all of the hills because I knew that they were gonna be a struggle because I know this route and 
I think that was really what was kind of making me struggle in the beginning. Feeling a little bit better, a little bit more warmed up. Just hit a, um, I don't know if it's a five or a 10K race, but they're going that way and I'm going that way. So um, it's fun to see some of them are dressed up and it's fun to uh, cheer them on. Here is the first Christmas puddle of the season. <sighs> Looks like a snowman has melted for the day or for the evening. Actually, the Christmas train is coming, so maybe he is making his rounds to turn on the air to the Christmas puddles. Just hit four miles and not only am I trying to sandbag with vlogging, but I am also trying to sandbag by chatting with people. Um, I sat and chatted with the train people for a little bit just to try to figure out if I should bring my niece and nephew over next weekend or the weekend after to ride the train because it looks cute. But yeah. Just sandbagging all around. I'm feeling okay though. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just mentally like so used to running with friends again. All through COVID I did not, but now that the pandemic is over, I uh, have started running with friends again, like literally almost every time. So, especially for my long runs. So that's where I'm at, but I should probably get going. So I'll talk to you guys probably in another mile. Well, literally here's something you don't see every day. <laughs> A crawdad has escaped from the lake. I guess that's where they live. And uh, it's time to save him. Even though he's in his defensive position. We're gonna save him. Oh, donk. Grab on. Whoa. Grab on. No, sir. Grab on. You got it. Grab on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, no, I did. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Derek has saved the crawdad. He's taking him back to the lake. I don't know how he got out of there or why he got out of there, but he was very angry because there were lots of ginormous people around him. So Derek picked him up and took him, but I couldn't figure out where to focus. So I didn't get that footage, which sucks. Anyway, um, back to it. Let's go. And in case you didn't see, um, I found Derek and now he's making me run to feel instead of um, by my timer. So yay Derek. And confusing things I see on my run news morning like what what is this for real just come in and tear it down six miles and still going i got nothing just six miles just hit mile seven and Still going, trucking along. Just took uh, some more of my sports beans and um, <sighs> yep, <laughs> that's all I can say right now. I'm, my stomach is revolting as usual. And um, yeah, nothing new to report here, but look at how like sweaty I am. It is so humid out here. And even Derek is like really sweaty and he doesn't usually sweat in this temperature. So <laughs> it's pretty bad. Mile eight, two miles left to go. Derek is about to turn around in just a minute or two. And then I'm on my own again for the last like mile and a half. So we'll see how that goes. I'm starting to feel like I didn't feel right or something. I don't know. But here we are, still still moving forward though. So 
proud of myself for pushing through, even though it started out rough, got better, and now it's rough again. So let's go ahead and get this done. So this part of the trail used to be like a trail trail, like a through the woods kind of trail, and they paved it. That's interesting. I'm a little bit over nine miles in, and I am doing a little bit more walking than running, but that's okay. I'm trying really hard not to be too hard on myself right now. Um, I've been going through a lot of like personal stuff this fall and like, I don't know, I just like, I'm trying to be nicer to myself because in the end, like that's all we can do is just try to be a little bit nicer to ourselves. So yeah, this run was slow, but I'm getting it done. It's gonna get done because I have no other option but to complete the distance to get back to the car. So Derek offered to pick me up and I told him no. Well, first I told him yes, and then I told him no, because I'm just determined to get these 10 miles done and have them under my legs. So here we are. 10 miles, I did it. I clawed my way through that run and it feels really good to be done and really good to have accomplished what I wanted to accomplish today, which is 10 miles. So yeah, that is super, super exciting for me. Derek and I are debating whether or not I have a 45 minute recovery run tomorrow, I think. And so we're debating on whether or not we're gonna do the Run With Santa 5K, which is a local race through our local running store. So I'm not gonna sign off because I will be doing 45 minutes, but it might be a race and it might not be a race. We're not sure yet. Like financially, we're just thinking ahead. Um, since I have four more Disney weekends, including California, to go. So that's 10 mile run today. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for my 45 minute recovery. Hello, I'm in a tunnel. As you can see, this is not the, well, maybe you can't. This is not the Run with Santa 5K. This is me running when I can. It's a good lesson that we've been learning this week. Um, my dad needed some help with their townhouse that they're selling and I had a run. So here I am trying to do that and get it done in the time frame that I have. So feeling okay. I'm actually feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday. So go figure. My calves are still really sore, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going and I will check in a little bit. I'm stopped. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep going in a second, but I wanted to update. I, um, again, forgot how hilly my parents' area is. I run here, well, I don't run here a lot anymore. I used to run here all the time because I used to live five minutes away and I used to live with them, but that was before I was a runner. And um, I just forget how hilly the little trails are. You can't really see, but like that's all like down. And then the, after that curve is some more down. So I just uh, ran down there and then ran back up and I'm heading back towards their house so I can just keep running laps until my brother-in-law arrives to help us with a Christmas tree. Happy Vlogmas. <laughs> I'm stopped again, it's so hilly. Oh my goodness. My pace is like awesome, but I keep having to stop at the top of some hills and just like catch my breath because walking, I can't catch my breath. So uh, this is what it is and it's not pretty again, but hopefully when my friends get back, my runs will start getting pretty again. I don't know. They seem to not have been pretty for a while. Anyway, just updating the vlog here. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. This is literally how I feel right now. <laughs> I love it.